Hi, Sagittarius. How you guys doing? I'm here with your spiritual um, spiritual session. If you're interested in a personal coaching session, if you have questions, anything like that, my information on how you can contact me will be down below. Period. Let's jump into it. The bottom of the deck, we have truth be told. Sag, I feel like for a good majority of you guys, whether you have Sag in your placements, you have a lot of love to give, but you hide it. You hide behind it maybe with crude jokes, crude, not cruel, crude jokes. Um, yeah, that type of energy, Mr. Suave, Mrs. Suave energy. You know, I'm not really tripping. Now, that's not you. You can overgive. So there's Sagittarius is that hide behind some type of um, something like um, that's what you're known for type of energy. You mean for being a little jerkish or then, then there's the ones who give overly give. Some of you guys can have aspects of both. But whatever it is, I feel like people can feel the love that you have, Sag, whether you know it or not. They can feel it when they're around you. Okay, it's it's what it is. That's just what that's just what the type of person you are. Okay, Sag, the persistence is going to pay off when it comes to your fertility. Now, fertility. Now, I did hear when I was shuffling the cards that some of you guys are trying to get a girlfriend pregnant, trying to get somebody back. There's something that you're trying to do, and the persistence is going to pay off. I feel like somebody is going to get somebody pregnant or going to get pregnant sometime in February. Now, this is not a, a live actual person, human. Um, then we're talking about um, some type of endeavor, some type of things that you're creating behind the scenes that no one knows. And when this shit pops, it's going to pop, Sag. Persistence is going to pay off. And I feel like people don't need you. You're not telling no one about that. So you're like mom's the word. Um, you're also aligning um, with you're being persistent with change whatever come whatever comes what may you're in that energy like you know what universe take the wheel like basically okay like whatever this is what however this is supposed to move however this situation if there is a particular situation or then we talking about just overall in your life Sag you're allowing this to happen okay some of you guys have three different options, three different states to move in, three different cities, three different countries to launch your product. To launch, Somebody's going to launch something and it's going to be in a major way and it may go international. Like you may think that something is going to just be locally, um, nationally. No, this shit is going to go internationally. It's going to go bigger than what you expect to say. It's that type of energy chasing your dreams because some of you guys with the round and round car you guys have been chasing your dreams you have been diligent whether you've been sharing this with people whether people can see this it doesn't matter you've been going after this for a long time sag fam it's about to pop it's about to pop it's about to pop it's about to pop okay yoga this is also tending to your spiritual needs sag you cannot um I, I, i'm gonna just say it uh, things are going to be way smoother for you if you tap into your spiritual side and allow this to be your, your guidance that inner zen that inner zen some of you guys need to do um, that um that deep um energy is to ground you back down to reality ground you back down to earth because some of you guys may be floating and swimming I'm hearing in some type of uh, like you just you can't it's just like the energy that you're in you need a balance oh my nose you need a balance of that in the um go outside and i'm like what anybody think about what you're doing just um and just ground put your feet on ground um that type of energy all right hold on one second Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The overall energy. Five of Cups is that energy of crying over spilled milk. There's some residual sadness of something you may have to leave behind. Could have to do with a water sign. Um, if not, let's see what's behind it. Yeah, it might have to do with a, um, a Leo, a Queen of Wands. There's some sadness. Um, there's some sadness. Somebody who you saw as this Queen of Wands. They don't even have to be as a Queen of Wands. They just... It could have to do with a Virgo, a Leo, or a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. 
you have been working diligently, okay, on yourself. Some of you guys have been taking. No, that don't make sense. Okay, maybe some of you guys. I don't do what you want. You know, um, just make sure that it's good for you health wise. You know, you don't want to put anything on your body sash that's going to have some type of adverse effects. But some of you guys are taking some natural supplement to enhance your libido, to enhance your stuff. Women, you're doing something to cascades, let's just say that. You're doing, you're working down there. You're working down there. Because some of you guys may have been celibate for a long time. Um, the Ace of Swords is also about victory, success, and a hell of a amount of mental clarity. Stuff just coming to you, them downloads, pop it, pop it, pop it. That type of energy really coming through. The seven of wands is standing up to your shadow side or standing up to someone. Could be a fire side where there was a lot of, um, this person challenged you. This person challenged you, Sag, and I feel like for the good. I feel like you may not see it that way, Sag. Maybe your ego is kind of like, you're not ego. It's not necessarily your ego, but you just may not see it that way. We, I may feel, I may see something one way. You may see something other way. It just may not be, you know, we may not just see things the way, you know, at the same time. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So there could be this challenge where you see a situation, you see a person, you see a family dynamic that challenged you or that brought out some type of energy in you. But this was for the good, Sag. This was for your betterment. Um, maybe this, the universe set it up this way. The Seven of Wands is also persistence going along right there with the other persistence card. Like, you're, this is the shyness, the um, lack of self-confidence, lack of self-esteem that you're conquering to, and you're facing your fears with the Three of Wands, right? But you're still in this energy. Somebody, this is, I don't know, like, I did say somebody's trying to get somebody pregnant, but somebody, this is going to be their reaction when they find out there's somebody, like, there's a baby, coming or there is a baby like you may i'm gonna be honest some of y'all may get a hit up by somebody and be like you know what i had your baby but what did you i mean <laughs> i mean i may react that way i ain't seen you in whoop -de -whoop. well yeah that's enough time that's enough time for a child a person a child to be born like if it's like 12 13 months uh, more than enough time yeah yes yeah, sag it only takes 10 months for a baby to cook so, you know, some of you guys, that may be a reality. I feel like I'm talking to the men, Sages. I don't know. Women, take this how it resonates. Boom, let's go back to this. The Three of Wands is walking through the door of fear, addressing your haters, addressing the people who are naysayers. You about to do what? Like, you might have a family member or somebody you know that's always, like, knocking what you're trying to do. Like, they're always got some old stupid-ass joke or some type of, like, you know, non-supportive energy. Um, maybe because they don't have what it takes to move forward like you do. So, it's that energy. It could be, like, three hyenas, and they always laugh. Hey, hey. Like they got some old anno annoying ass laugh. Somebody has an annoying laugh and they laugh and they just irks the living dark like like the the I don't know it, it irritates you on a deep level. Let's just come on say let's move on. So the two of wands is facing your fear. Three of wands is giving me the same energy. This is a lot of change. This is a lot of dysfunction being left behind. Um and yeah, you're scared as fuck. Whatever it is. Some of y'all are moving cross country by yourself some of you guys could be moving with another fire sign um change is here for you sag in a major way okay love y'all peace